The third rule, which is the most important one, is the chain rule. And because it's so important, I'm not going to get you to use the rule that's in your log tables. So I'm going to get you to use a different one. So if you want dy dx, then you need to get dy du and multiply it by du dx. I'm going to explain that now in a few minutes. But <clears throat> the reason I'm teaching you this rule is because it's helpful for questions later on to understand that. Can you see firstly how if you simplify this, you would get dy dx? So um, <clears throat> the purpose of the rule is an important thing. So like if you want to use the product rule, it's because you have two things multiplied called one of them u and one of them v. If you have the, if you want to use the quotient rule, it's because you have two things divided. So you've some called the top one u and the bottom one v. And then this, the purpose of this one is if it looks anything different from what's in your log tables, you can use the chain rule. So let's say your function looks like sine 5x. If you look along your log tables, you won't see anything exactly like sine 5x. Now, you will see sine x. And if you want to differentiate sine x, it just changes to cos x. But if it doesn't look exactly like what's in your log tables, I normally use the chain rule. So how does the chain rule work? It's kind of like you're wishing that it looked pretty much exactly like what's in the log tables. It's the sign of a variable. So I'm going to decide, yeah, I'm going to make it look like that. I'm going to say it's sign u, where u is 5x. Like I'm not deluding myself, I know that I'm after replacing something, so I'm just explaining myself fully. Chain rule says get dy du. Do I have y written in terms of u? Yes, I do. So dy du. If I go to my log tables, sine x changes to cos x. So sine u changes to cos u. And then I need to multiply it by du dx. Do I have u written in terms of x? I do. So du dx is 5. Chain rule says get dy du, multiply it by du dx, and lastly, I can't leave it in this variable that I created that part, so 5 cos 5x. That's the formula for the curve, that's the formula for the rate at which the curve is changing, also known as the slope of the curve. Just another example. Um, if you had x squared plus 3 to the power of 5, you obviously have the option of multiplying this out by itself five times. Um, or you can go to the log tables and go in search of something that looks like it. Again, you go to your log tables and there won't be anything that looks like it, but you do have something that looks like this. So if I was to replace something, either this or this, with the variable u, would it make my life easier? Well, replacing this with the variable u wouldn't, so I'm going to go with this. So u to the power of 5, where u equals x squared plus 3. So because it doesn't look exactly like what's in the log tables, I'm using the chain rule. Chain rule says get dy du and multiply it by du dx. dy du, 5u to the power of 4, du dx, 2x, multiply that by that, you end up with 10x by u to the power of 4, where u is x squared plus 3. And I wouldn't multiply that out unless they told me to. So that's the formula for the curve. That's the formula for the slope of the curve. One last one. You go to your log tables. There's nothing exactly like this in your log tables. There is two though. There is, if you differentiate e to the x, you get e to the x. And if you differentiate e to the ax, now where a is a number, Anywhere in your log tables that you see a, it has to be a number. It can't be a variable. Absolutely has to be a number. So both of these are there, but this doesn't look like either of them. 
doesn't look like e to the x and it doesn't look exactly like e to the 4x or e to the 5x or e to the minus 2x so I can't use this one when something doesn't look exactly like what's in your log tables you have to use the chain rule chain rule means that I'm going to try and make my life a little bit easier so if I replace this thing here with the variable u then I could use this rule up here but I have to explain myself where u is x squared chain rule says get dy du so if you differentiate e to the variable you just get each that variable get du dx differentiation of x squared is 2x multiply them together 2x e to the u that's 2x e to the x squared These are all just methods. Um, you've looked at the product rule, the quotient rule, and now we're looking at the chain rule, which is the most important one. Um, just try and make it, if it doesn't look exactly like what's in the log tables, you try and make it look it by throwing in the variable that I use as u. So you then, get dy du, get du dx, multiply them together and it should work out.